and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome for today's video i thought i would show you guys all of the sunglasses i picked up recently from amazon i'm not kidding these are exact dupes for some of my luxury sunglasses like specifically my ray-bans i did an amazon leo stop licking yourself we're on camera i did an amazon fashion um favorites video this one a few videos ago and i showed you guys two pairs of sunglasses i'm going to show you guys some again but i got so many different pairs i got probably like 10 to 12 pairs of sunglasses and it cost me less than one pair of luxury designer sunglasses so without further ado let's jump into the video i will leave all of these sunglasses linked down below it's been so nice here in montreal i'm just dying for summer to come and these will definitely not break your bank this spring and summertime okay i'm gonna start with the sunglasses i showed you guys in my last video to get them out of the way but these are a dupe for my favorite round ray-ban sunglasses i have gone through so many pairs of these because sunglasses are just something I tend to lose. I don't know why I lost a pair of these on vacation. I'm trying to show you guys without the ring light. These are the Ray-Ban version and then these are the Amazon version. They have different colors of these. I think they have like the exact color dupe with like the green lenses but these are identical. So these are them. They are also I think polarized. A lot of these sunglasses are polarized. I don't know why or how they do it for so cheap because Ray-Ban is like they're polarized. That's an extra $200. So these are pair number one. Like I said these are my most worn sunglasses to date. Okay so the next sunglasses are a dupe for these. These are like the hexagon style Ray-Bans. These are the smaller size. I definitely prefer the bigger size but Amazon came through and they have a like literal perfect dupe for these sunglasses recently I've been liking them even more than my round ones which I never thought I would say but these have been my go-to for a while the one thing I have to say is that they don't feel the exact same as Ray-Bans but for the price you literally cannot beat them okay so these next pairs I'm so excited to show you and they are a dupe for these sunglasses from Ray-Bans I don't know the exact name but they are round like this I have worn these for a few years I don't know if you can see but the lens on these sunglasses are getting a little funky but I have worn these sunglasses for a few years now and oh I think these are these are a little crooked I've beaten them to death oh I love these sunglasses so flipping much especially this rose gold color I got these sunglasses a few years ago and they have been my favorite ever since I don't know I love a good pair of round sunglasses but have literal perfect dupes for you guys so this is pair number one are you kidding the shape of them is the same like every single thing about them is exactly the same they have the black on black but because i already had the ray-ban version i wanted to test out a few other pairs so this is pair number one it is gold with a black lens this is pair number one these are so dark it looks like my camera is off these are so comfortable. They fit. They feel like they were made for my face. They don't hurt my nose. Like I said, I'm just a huge fan of these sunglasses. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I really do love them. The next pair that I got are these right here. So they are gold with a brown lens. I feel like these are just not as harsh. They're still very, they're still very dark, like so, so dark, but I feel like they're just maybe not as harsh. I love these and then the last pair I got are um, these which are very similar to the first pair I showed you but if you look up close the rim of them this one has tortoise shell on it and this one is black the difference is very minute. I definitely would not say you need both of them. I got these because I was testing out different brands. These two came as a set and then this pair was from a different brand, but it turns out they're just like literally identical. They feel exactly the same. So they have all different colors in these. They have black on black. They have funky colors. They, I think they have mirrored lenses, but they have so many different colors. So uh, whenever I wear these, I get a lot of questions about them, especially when I first show them to you guys. The next pairs I want to show you guys are also an exact dupe for Ray-Bans. I actually have these Ray-Bans, but I think my best friend Nolan has them because I wore them on vacation with him and he was obsessed with them. Um, they give me Porsche kind of those Porsche sunglass kind of vibes. They are either with him or in one of my bags. So I'm going to go through my bags after this because 
I thought they were in my sunglass drawer and turns out they're not. <laughs> These are them. They are rimless sunglasses. I I got them in these two colors. So these sunglasses are actually in the exact same color as the pair I have from Ray-Ban. So these I feel definitely make me look like a little bit like a fly. I try not to get the ring light in them. My dad actually, when he was over the other day, saw these sunglasses and he was like, I'm gonna take these. And I was like, okay, you can take them, but let me film with them first. This is the second pair, the black on black. And this is actually the pair that reminded me of the Porsche sunglasses. I love that they're all black. I love that they're very dark. I feel like they go with an all black look and you can't go wrong with a good pair of aviators. I have yet to find a very good pair or a very good dupe for the classic Ray-Ban aviators, but if I have to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of them. I never have been. I prefer like this style or the round style, but if I find a good pair, I will keep you updated. I have another pair, this pair, which is actually my favorite. They're in my car right now. Um, that's how you know they're my favorite. I will, I'll try to go get them to show you guys. But this pair is very similar. I feel like these are a little bit too big for my face, but these are so comfortable. Like when I just wanna go out and hide my face, this is the pair I'm gonna throw on because they're so comfortable. They don't hurt my nose at all. I feel like they're kind of a mix between the round and the hexagon kind of style Ray-Bans because they are not perfectly roundly shaped, but they kind of give off the same vibe. I don't know. The pair that I am obsessed with and is in my car is the exact same style, just a little bit smaller and they're my favorite. So the next pair of sunglasses is a dupe for my Celine sunglasses, which I actually, I think this is the biggest purchase that I regret the most in my life. I bought them, they were on sale, and my best friend was buying a pair of sunglasses, Celine sunglasses, and I just got roped into it, and I, I regret it. I think I've worn these like five times in my whole life, and I don't know, I feel like these big plasticky sunglasses feel cheap. I also feel like they don't flatter my face, like at all. This is what I look like. Like, I, I hate them. I hate these. I don't know why I hate them so much. The pair I found from Amazon, I actually like a lot, a lot more. They came in a set of two. I'm going to show you guys this pair first because they're more of a dupe for these. But I actually like the Amazon version more because they're less of like bubbly. They're kind of like a cat eye, but not as dramatic. So as you can see, this Celine is half black, half tortoise, and these are half black, half tortoise, but these I feel like just are a little bit, are a little, they're a little bit nicer. I feel like they're a little bit more dainty on the face, even though they're like plastic and like spiky, but I feel like they're a little bit daintier. They're not as chunky. Um, and then, like I said, they also have them in black. Out of all the pairs, I feel like these and the next pair I'm going to show you, I wear the least. I just don't tend to gravitate towards pairs like this, but if this is your style, you you can't go wrong. Like you literally can't go wrong. I like them way more than my Celine glasses. So the next pair I have to show you guys is this pair right here. So they have a similar style to the Celine, but on the side, they're not as thick the whole way around, which I like. And they're also tortoise. These again, not my favorite style, but they're super comfortable on your face. So this is what they look like. The next sunglasses I'm gonna show you I got because I know some of you are going to love this style. On me, I feel like I look insane, but they are these sunglasses right here. This like thin style, feels like I'm in like 2007 kind of style. Um, They came in a pack of two. I don't know why they remind me of Scooby-Doo. Does that make sense to anyone? Like why these remind me of Scooby-Doo? I, I think they're, I don't mind the small glasses trend, but I feel like these are, they're small but bulky. I don't know. I do like them, but they're just like not my absolute favorite. I don't feel like too confident <laughs> in them. Okay, so I think I only have one, two more pairs to show you guys. So when I was younger, my mom had a pair of these Fendi sunglasses and I feel so bad, like looking back now, like. Uh, my sister and I were so mean to her, but we thought these were the most embarrassing sunglasses known to humankind. Like, I was so embarrassed whenever she whipped these out. They were these sunglasses right here. They were Fendi. Um, and I don't... She loved these. Like, uh, these were her favorite sunglasses ever. She only wore these 
I still don't like them. Okay, I, I'm not like a fan of them now, but I feel like they're like a relic. Like I can't get rid of them. They are staying with me because they just remind me of her. But these sunglasses reminded me of those. I don't know why. They're, these are a little funky. They're a little funky. They kind of remind me of like Austin Powers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking with these. I feel like they're kind of cool. Um, they're definitely more pointy than my mom's sunglasses, but they just reminded me of them because they were small and metal, but Amazon has a ton of like these little small sunglasses. Okay, and the last pair of glasses I have to show you guys is a pair of blue light glasses. I actually, I put off getting a pair, well, I actually had a pair from Amazon, but they were really big and bulky and I did not enjoy wearing them, but, Everyone always talks about blue light glasses and wearing them if you spend a lot of time on the computer and I spend too much time on the computer and staring at my phone. So I got a pair that is less like bulky and hopefully won't give me a headache or make my nose hurt. I don't know if I love the way these look but I'm just going to continue wearing them because they're comfortable. Um, I have to say I was most impressed by these dupes right here like I really cannot believe how identical they are to my Ray-Bans like seeing these for I think they were like $12 compared to spending hundreds of dollars on Ray-Bans I feel kind of silly especially because with like my Ray-Bans they're not even like they're already they're changing colors granted I'm not gentle with them but I feel like when you're paying $300 for sunglasses like I don't know. Anyways, you guys, I will leave all of them linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. I love you, and I'll see you guys back here next time.